just saw a 10 second diesel truck. What's going on everybody? How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, I was on night work, so really wasn't too eventful for me, but I did have the opportunity to swing by my buddy's barbecue on the way into work last night, so that was good. But speaking of last night, um, we did a little change up on Caitlin. So before I left for the barbecue, I was thinking, and something I've thought about doing before, uh, was changing the exhaust up on Caitlin. So just to give you an idea what's going on with her, she is a second gen swap truck with a 467 8390 turbo on it. Um, it is a four inch downpipe to a five inch exhaust. The rear main, rear main, the rear most pipe, as you can see, is actually off of Caitlin, giving her a nice sweet uh, look here with no, no pipe hanging out. So, Caitlin is a straight pipe exhaust. It is a Flow Pro exhaust, five inch out of that four inch downpipe. And she had a 30 inch resonator on her. So, here's the resonator it is a 30 inch FTE resonator. And the reason I had put this on Caitlin when I had gotten the exhaust all done and all that is a friend of mine had an 06 truck with a stock turbo, put a five inch exhaust on it, straight piped, and I couldn't stand it. Uh, the truck sounded great from a distance away or from outside it, but riding in his truck, um, it was ungodly. The drone was just terrible. I remember me and him went up to like Jersey somewhere. It was like a two and a half, three hour drive, and it just, it got annoying quick on the highway. So I didn't want to have that problem with Caitlin, so I went with the resonator right away. So I decided to swap in the straight pipe, the pipe that actually came with the Flow Pro exhaust. It's the same exact pipe as right there on the back of the trailer. Basically, it's the same pipe as that resonator, but it's, it's hollow. It doesn't have these baffles in it which I don't know if you guys can make that out or not. On my way to the barbecue yesterday, I threw the GoPro on the side of the truck, you know, just to get some driving around sounds. And you guys have heard her in the video. She's not awful loud. Always sounded pretty good, I thought, but I said, hey, you know, let me see. Maybe with this second gen swap is a pair of that and it's a fourth gen, you know. My other friend has a fourth gen with, I believe it's a straight through exhaust with the factory turbo. And it doesn't sound bad at all. Definitely better than the third gens did. And it doesn't drone. But like I said, I'm pretty sure it's straight through exhaust, but I'm not 100%. Anyhow, for Caitlin with the resonator i always liked it but let's see if it make it any better so during my breaks at work and my lunch time i swapped the pipe out i figured it'd be pretty simple it got actually it was a little more involved because i forgot i had actually tacked the exhaust up onto the downpipe and had the adapter tacked to the downpipe with a piece of pipe in between i had forgotten i'd done that which made it a little bit more of a pain in the ass but not too bad altogether, but everything's back in, kind of tacked up how it was, but just so we can cut it back out if we have to or we want to.
What's what's better, resonator or the straight tube? Noise wise, with the straight through pipe, it is definitely much louder. Um, just it's it's loud. Uh, with the resonator in, it makes a fair bit of noise, and but it's not too bad. Now this is all me in the cab. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about outside the truck as I didn't hear I've never really heard either outside of it other than just idling because nobody else drives my vehicles so all in cab comments here In the cab with without the resonator as you would expect maybe a little bit too loud uh, I had the windows down and just eh, because well the sound with the straight pipe in honestly light acceleration it kind of sounds like a tractor um, it, it I mean that's how a diesel sounds but it just sounded more like a tractor than a truck with the resonator in to me that's how common rail should sound it it was just good it's clean um i just like it and that's how i've been driving the truck for ever since it was deleted she's got sixty thousand miles on her ever since eight thousand miles had a resonator in always enjoyed the sound the big thing is drone didn't really get any highway driving but i did have some couple extended periods of 60 mile an hour driving with the straight pipe in and not bad not bad at all now your light acceleration that say 1500 to 2000 rpm range and your heavy acceleration uh about 2000 to 2500 rpm yeah she had a fair bit of drone to her you could i mean you could definitely notice there was a big difference with the resonator in no drone whatsoever never had a problem with it me and me and bobbert went out to indiana for ucc wasn't annoyed at all once by the exhaust so that's definitely another win for the resonator and lastly and maybe the most important whistle noise that turbo whistle that whistle we all love to hear with the resonator you got a fair bit of whistle and and it was a good sounding whistle you could really hear it with the straight pipe with the tractor noises I could not hear that turbo whistling at all. The exhaust and the drone when accelerating and even when just slowing down, you could not hear the turbo on the truck at all, which I'm not happy about. That's one good thing I always thought about the six liters, especially like the O3s, I think it was. When you put an exhaust on them, you could just hear that turbo whistle and it sounded so cool. So, yeah, definitely feel as though the resonator is an option you should look at for your truck i'm probably going to keep the straight pipe on caitlin for maybe a week or two just see how i like it 
but first first impressions are definitely that resonated exhaust is much better i don't know i might throw the tailpipe on too and see if that makes it sound any better i know with the resonated exhaust it really didn't change it so we'll see if i were you and i was doing the same to my truck i would definitely look at getting a resonator fte is who my resonator is from i'm sure there's other companies who make them but that's what i have and when you get the 30 inch model it is almost a direct replacement no not almost it's a direct replacement for the pipe that comes with the flow pro exhaust and probably most of your exhausts out there so guys i just figured we'd do something a little different it's kind of hard to get any good work done on the trucks with night work and all that which tonight was my last night so we'll get be getting back into the garage getting our race truck stuff done all the normal stuff we do I'm hoping to go pick up our torque converter and transmission from John sometimes this week. I don't know if we'll be getting that installed or not, but I do know the torque converter is on its way. So I'm definitely excited about that and uh, get this pig moving again. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. I'll check you on the next one. Get out in your garage. Get the wrenching on your truck.